Hello and welcome back. This week we're doing another tier list. My last one that was about film stocks when I ranked film stocks that seemed to go over pretty well with a lot of you guys. So we're going to be doing another tier list today. We're talking about photographers. I have about 20 here that we're going to get ranking S through F. You already know how it works. So why don't we just get right to it? All right. Up first, we've got William Eagleston. Now, I know a lot of people are a big fan of his work. I'm a little hit or miss on him, but he is a protected species, and it's actually illegal to criticize William Eagleston. I don't know if you knew that. So we're going to put him in the A tier. Up next, we have Manta Ray. Now, he's a very avant-garde artist, obviously known for much more than his photography. Uh, I'm a little shocked that he didn't do more underwater stuff, given where he lives, but I guess I can't really hold that against him. We're going to put him in the B tier. All right, up next we've got Henri Cartier Bresson, uh, a legend, an actual legend. I mean, everyone everyone knows Cartier Bresson. Obviously, incredibly influential. My cats love him. He's known for his core tenant of the decisive meowment, which has uh, obviously been a big part of a lot of street photographers nowadays. Um, so he's gonna go right there in the A tier. All right, up next, we've got another legend. We have Ansel Adams. I heard in his prime, he could actually carry about 50 times his body weight. I mean, how incredible is that? It's pretty impressive to me. I also heard that he was prone to hanging around national parks a lot, ruining people's picnics, but you know, that's, that's the nature of the game. You go to a national park for a picnic, you run the risk of Ansel Adams showing up and ruining it. Uh, I'm gonna put him in the S tier. Okay, up next, we've got... Gordon Barks. I like Gordon Barks a lot. I read that he was very outdoorsy. He loved going to parks. I also like that his last name isn't just like the name of an animal. It's the name of a sound that an animal makes. So we're going to put him in, right in the A tier. Okay, up next, we've got Ernst Host's Eagle. Now, I wasn't too familiar with Host Eagle before making this list, um, but Host Eagle is an extinct species of eagle that lived in um, the South Island of New Zealand. Um, it's also the largest eagle known to have existed with an estimated weight of 33 pounds, which just makes it a little extra impressive that he was able to take so many surreal photographs of New York City. I mean, it was a different time, the 1950s or 60s, 70s? It's a different time. Okay, up next we've got Vivian Meower. Now, honestly, she's great. She's very reclusive and secretive. We all know that. She liked taking naps, but the photos that she got were just incredible for an amateur photographer. And also, I think that the way that her photos came to light is really fascinating, fascinating too. Uh, they were just found in a paper bag under the couch. She's going in the A tier. Okay, up next we've got Erwin Bloomin' Onions. And this is just hilarious. Okay, up next we got Fred Horsezog. A little lazy with the pun, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's a bit of a stretch, but um, as far as his photography goes, it might seem a little unstable to a lot of people out there, but I gotta say he's my main man. I am gonna put him in the B tier though, just because the pun does knock it back a little bit. Okay, and up next we've got Cindy Perman. I'm not too familiar with her work, but the name is spot on, much like Gordon Barks and Vivian Meower. Um, I have this website that says, through her penetrating photographs of herself masquerading as invented persona, Cindy Furman has become one of the most influential artists of her generation. She uses makeup, wigs, prosthesis, and props to transform herself into a sex kitten, drug addict, party girl, aging diva, and even a corpse, as well as many familiar but unclassifiable types. The sex kitten one makes sense, I guess. Um, because I'm not too familiar with her work, I'm going to put her in the B tier but I do love the name. Up next, we've got Richard Ravendon. A little lazy, doesn't roll off the tongue as well as some of the others, but his photos are marvelous if you take a gander at them. Um, even if he didn't know what to do when showing up to a fashion photo shoot, he could honestly just wing it and come out with something truly special. People generally flock to bookstores to see his photo books. I know I do, um, but the name is pretty rough. So I'm gonna go with the B tier. All right, up next we've got Lemur Miller. 
Lemurs, if you didn't know, are one of my favorite animals. Um, actually, in my top three favorite animals, going backwards from three, we got lemurs, capuchin monkeys, and capybaras. But Lemur Miller is a great photographer. She actually knew manta ray for a period of time, which you wouldn't think that they would mesh together well, but um, they actually did. And that was before she went to war to be a wartime photographer. I actually hear that Kite Winslet is going to play her in a movie that's coming out this year, so be on the lookout for that. A kite is a type of bird. She's going in the A tier. All right, up next we've got Danny Lyon. S tier. I feel like I don't need to explain why. All right, next we've got Robert Katpa. Now listen, we've had a lot of cats already on this list. I feel like it's important to get a little diversity in here. He's going in the C tier for cat. Up next, we've got Robert Capybara. Now that is what I'm talking about. He was at the Spanish Civil War as a war correspondent. He was at Normandy in World War II. Plus, I hear he could hold his breath for almost five minutes. He's going right in the, we're gonna put him in the A tier. Up next, we've got Dorothea Langaroo. And this is also hilarious. I heard that she got into a boxing match with Walker Evans once at the FSA, and it did not end well for him. Look it up. All right, up next we've got Helmet Newton. I feel like this also doesn't need any explanation. He also got into a fight with Walker Evans uh, because he mistook Helmet for a salamander. Look it up. All right, we are in the home stretch here. Up next, we've got Nobuyoshi Arachnid. He was very into bondage photography, and I believe that he made all of the ropes using his silk, which is pretty innovative. So he's gonna go right in the S tier. All right, up next we've got Nobuyoshi Araki, and that's that's just silly, so it's gonna go in the D tier, but it's also bordering on hilarious, so it's gonna go in hilarious. And last but not least, we've got Nobuyoshi Arrakis, like the desert planet from Dune, and that is also hilarious. And there we have it. That's my tier list of these 20 or so photographers, uh, let me know what you think. I want to know what everyone else, where everyone would rank these various photographers. Let me know uh, if I made any wild hot takes uh, or if you agree with what I had to say. If you couldn't tell, this is a big April Fool's joke. I probably would never go through actually ranking photographers. I don't I don't really think it's fair to be comparing uh, photographers in, in a way like this. I thought it would be kind of fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go make an actual video now and because uh, this took me way longer than it should have. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when new videos are released and go do all the other stuff. I'll see you all next time. Happy April Fool's Day.